Recently, we got some news regarding two new FPGA retro gaming consoles, the Analog 3D and the Mars FPGA. For the longest time, FPGA and gaming consoles has been mostly limited to the Mr. Project, which runs on the aging D10 Nano system on a chip at this point, and Analog's previous offerings covering 8-bit and 16-bit consoles as well as their Analog Pocket. However, I think the Analog 3D and the Mars FPGA project could mark a critical point in the evolution of FPGA and retro gaming. I want to talk about each of these upcoming systems and why I'm keeping a close eye on both of them. First off, I'm going to start with the Analog 3D because that's the simplest thing to break down and the most recent announcement. Analog is making the Analog 3D to be an FPGA N64 with a 100% game compatibility and 4K output via HDMI. We do not know the pricing or the exact release date yet, but it is set to come out sometime in 2024 according to Analog. The thing that makes it more interesting than anything this company has released prior is that there is an opportunity here to provide an excellent modernized N64 experience that software emulation is not 100% delivered yet. They have an opportunity to recreate the N64 hardware at the chip level via FPGA essentially, which should yield much better results than software emulation in theory. Plus their systems in the past have been plug and play. You plug it into the wall in your TV, you plug in your controllers, insert your cartridge, and then you play your games. You can't beat that in terms of ease of use, and I expect the same thing here. Not just that, but Analog as a company has credibility since they have created quite a few different FPGA consoles at this point. My main concerns here are cost and versatility. I expect this system to be pretty expensive at launch, at least $400, that's my prediction, nothing official though. Another thing that ties into cost is that Analog's business model seems to depend on scarcity in order to build up the FOMO, generating even more hype than there already was. I wouldn't be surprised if the price is high just because the first run ends up being super limited in terms of units, just so they can keep doing limited run after limited run. My last issue is that you're only going to be playing one system's games on this particular device. So if you want versatility in terms of being able to play a bunch of different consoles on it, you're going to have to look elsewhere. While the Analog 3D is pretty awesome, I think the Mars FPGA console is the one with the most potential to blow us all away. This was announced a while back, but the hype train has been building up further and further the last few weeks or so. Let's start with what we know about it. The developers are promising backwards compatibility with all of the previous Mr. FPGA cores at launch, which already covers 8-bit and 16-bit consoles along with the PS1 and Sega Saturn, and some other systems as well. There is also a core in development to support Sega Naomi games, which is something that has not been done yet for the Mr. Project. I'll have a link to the specs of the device in the description, but I'm not going to spend much time on that. Just because it's an apples and oranges comparison between this and let's say a gaming PC or even a smartphone. It will also support these controller modules that will allow you to connect controllers from different consoles to your Mars system. That was announced very recently and it's a cool development if you ask me. The price that the developers are supposedly aiming for is around $700 at launch, which is obviously expensive. However, the good news is you don't need to buy quite a few add-ons to get it up and running like you would with the Mister. That seems to be the plan so far. On the hardware side of things then, the Mars is said to be ready to go out of the box outside of supplying controllers. The thing that I think people are wondering the most about is what could this device deliver that we haven't seen before from the Mister project? If this thing can deliver on Naomi support, you should be able to get a Dreamcast core, as the hardware is very similar between that and the Naomi board. There has also been talk about a potential Atari Jaguar core, which software emulation still doesn't pull off that well at this point. 3DO could be a possibility, but that might be something that the Mr. Project could pull off without this improved hardware. Beyond that, I think we need to look at the possibility of other arcade systems from the 90s being supported if a Naomi core gets made. The thing that I think a lot of people would be interested in that nobody's talking about as a possibility yet 
would be something like Sega Model 1 and Model 2 support. Sega's Model 1 hardware is best known for running the original Virtua Fighter as well as Virtua Racing. Sega's Model 2 hardware was extremely popular in the early to mid-90s thanks to games such as Daytona USA, Virtua Cop, and Virtua Fighter 2. And MAME support for both Model 1 and Model 2 games has been pretty lousy over the years. If someone can make good cores recreating these platforms on the Mars, I think that's a game changer. I think people would buy this hardware just to play those games with accurate performance if that happens, of course. Some other arcade cores could be a possibility as well. I'd be interested in cores for Midway's arcade sports games like NBA Jam, NBA Hang Time, and possibly NFL Blitz. I'm also thinking of the Cruising series, particularly the arcade versions of those games, not the N64 ones. San Francisco Rush and Gauntlet Legends from Atari games would be awesome to see running on this board. Again, the arcade versions, not the N64 versions. Just about all the arcade cores on the Mister so far have been 2D games, but if Naomi gets the core, it opens up the possibility of a lot of 3D arcade games from the 90s. The upgraded hardware compared to the DE10 Nano that powers the Mister should also be great for the N64 core that is still in development. That core is already making great progress on the Mister without this hardware, so imagine what's possible on an FPGA board that is even better. I also wonder if we could get a PSP core or possibly a GameCube core, but I'm not sure if those would be likely. So what do you think of these two upcoming systems? Are you considering buying one of them? Do you already own one of Analog's previous FPGA consoles? Do you have a Mr. setup currently? I'd love to hear from you, so feel free to let me know in the comments. I'll certainly be keeping my eyes on both of these upcoming devices myself. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.